What's up guys? Uh, this is me, I'm back, Carillos, and I hope you enjoy this video. But anyways, uh, I'm making this video real quick um, to give you like a little quick little update <coughs> about um, EA's press conference. They had a few good titles. Um, Flashpoint looked pretty good. Uh, it looked like a Destiny sort of a lot of influence in that so there was a lot of what i pictured like a lot of destiny influence in that so it looked okay um interesting you know i might check it out when it comes out it's supposed to come out in february of next year so looks looks decent uh they came out with unravel 2 now i enjoyed the first round unravel it looks pretty awesome so um that looks pretty awesome i can't wait to try that out um Let's see. Then they showed a whole bunch of sports games, multiplayer games, etc. It, I mean, it it was okay. Press conference. Honestly, for me, I can't wait for Xbox's press conference. Uh, Bethesda, I'm really excited about because I hear that they're going to uh, have some new games and exciting stuff to show tomorrow night. Um, and then, of course, you know, what I'm calling it, the king of E3 for the last couple of years, uh, PlayStation. So... I can't wait for that one. Those are the press conferences I'm excited for. I was checking out EAs and it was it was okay. I was mainly just playing on my phone or tablet and just uh, periodically looking up at the TV, checking out some of the trailers and stuff like that. Wasn't really interested. They showed off FIFA, Madden 19, etc. It was okay. It just was okay. But if you guys really want to stay up to date and follow me, you can follow me on. Um, uh, Twitter, Gaming is Life, or Carrillo's, so you can look me up there. I'll be tweeting throughout the uh, press conferences, my opinions, and what I think. So be sure to check me out there. Um, you can also uh, check me out on Facebook. I don't really do much on Facebook, but I mainly tweet and stuff like that. So be sure to check me out. So I hope you all are enjoying your E3. And I hope that they show off some fantastic games. Hopefully they got you pumped up for some exciting games. And I can't wait to see it all. And enjoy the experience with each and every one of you. Um, again, my experience. So if I had to rate EA's press conference, it wasn't nothing. If you, you know, if you missed it, you missed it. Who cares, you know. Um, I'm sure you'll find out the news later. So, it's, it's, it's solid. So, but anyways, um... I hope you guys are having a great weekend, and until next one, I'll probably do another video during, um, or after Microsoft's press conference, so which will be tomorrow after that, so, and then I'll, I'll probably do another one definitely after Bethesda, so there'll be two videos coming tomorrow, so be sure to stick around and check those out, and then of course... I will definitely upload a video after PlayStation. So, I, you know, you can call me a PlayStation fanboy all you want. I used to be diehard Xbox, but I kind of flopped because, personally, there hasn't been no games that I really wanted on the uh, Xbox. You know, they ain't really coming out with much that intrigues me, so I just really haven't messed with it. Sorry if I keep taking deep breaths. That's just kind of how I talk. So, um... I hope y'all enjoyed last night's video. I, again, I did that for fun. It was amusement. I had fun with it. So I might do something like that again. But enjoy. But if I had to rate EA's press conference out of 10, it was about a, about a 6. So stay tuned. More videos coming your way. Till next time, guys. Enjoy your E3.